Hey guys, it's Mr. Wolfie, and today I'm going to show, well, I wouldn't call it a trick so much as just something that helps me remember how to do these kind of equations. This is a tube feeding uh, question, but this the way I'm going to do this is going to apply to a lot of chemistry and physics related uh, shortcuts in math. So let's start with, we have someone who's on a 1.2 kilocalorie per milliliter tube feeding formula at a rate of 70 milliliters per hour. Now, you don't really have to understand what this means to kind of get what we're about to do here. In fact, that's what's so good about this. You don't actually have to understand the math involved at all other than how I'm going to show it to you. So, what if we wanted to find how many calories, well a kilocalorie by the way, if you didn't know, is a calorie the way you understand it as one calorie in food. It's actually a kilocalorie. It, uh, without having to explain that too much, just but just understand that. But I'm going to call it a kilocalories for the sake of this. So anyway, we have, we're looking for kilocalories per day. So the end result is actually going to be kcal per day. So that's going to be the end of the equation. So that helps us look for what we're uh, trying to achieve here, and it helps us use the items that we have access to. Now down here is <clears throat> the information you need that's part of the 1.2 kilocalorie per milliliter tube feeding formula. Now this is going to apply directly to enteral and parenteral nutrition. So, But here, here's the trick. So in order to find kilocalories per day, what do we have? We have 1.2 kilocalories per milliliter, so we want to find kilocalories, so we start there. So we do 1.2 kilocalories, draw a line over it, per milliliter. Now that's going to be important in a moment. Uh, and we want to find per day, right? So, well, what do we got to do? We got to get rid of milliliters for one. And we've got to acquire day at the base. So, to get rid of milliliters, we can go and say how many milliliters per hour the formula is running. And what this is going to do is it's going to even out the equation where the milliliters cancel themselves out. But now we're left with kilocalories per hour. And in order to solve that and get rid of the, the hours, we need to find out how many hours are in a day. Well, 24 hours are in a day, of course. So that cancels out the hours. Now all you have to do is multiply the numbers. Just like that. So we get our calculator, and we type in 1.2, multiply it by 70, multiply that by 24, and we get 2,016 kilocalories per day at the rate in which we are pumping the tube feeding formula. Now if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, just understand this one thing. You don't need the numbers to solve this math the way I just did this, until you get to the point where you are done with balancing the equation and you multiply it on the calculator, or you can do it in your head, however you want to do it. All you need to know is kilocalories over milliliters, milliliters over hours, and hours over days. You have those three things to work with, cancel out everything that's not important, and you wind up with cal kilocalories over days, which is the solution you're looking for. So let's find out how much protein per day this will give us. Well, we know that protein is 55 grams per liter, actually 55.5 grams per liter of solution. Well, of course, you can't just have liters when milliliters are involved, so we need to, we need to balance it out by saying one liter is 1,000 milliliters. That gets rid of the liters. So now we have grams over milliliters. Unfortunately, that's not the solution because we're looking for grams over day. So we gotta have day on the bottom. We have grams on the top, so we don't have anything that can cancel out grams. <clears throat> but we go back to our rate of 70 milliliters per hour, which cancels out the milliliters. Now we have grams per, day, per hour, which we go back to our old standby. How many hours are in a day? Bada bing, bada boom. So now you multiply that, get 50, well, whoopsie do, 55 times 70 times 24. Get that answer, divide that whole thing by 1,000, 
and then we have let's just say 93 grams per day so there's the solution of that one now fluids <clears throat> are a little trickier the way I do it with this equation uh, what do we want to have of course we want uh, it's gonna be milliliters per day yeah it's gonna be milliliters per day so what we have is milliliters per liter so far so we have 807 milliliters per liter of solution the answer is going to be uh, milliliters over days so uh, well we got to get rid of the liters right so one liter is a thousand milliliters we got to find out uh, well, see, here's what's tricky about this, is we just canceled out liters, and now we're left with milliliters over milliliters. So to solve this one, we have to go back to the rate once again, 70 milliliters per hour, and it's actually going to make it to where we have several milliliters to work with, but they're going to cancel out to where there's milliliters per hour now. And then we go back to 24 hours per day, bada bing, bada boom. And that leaves us with 807 times 70 times 24 divided by a thousand. That leaves us with let's let's just say 1355 milliliters per day. And if that seems confusing to you, that's because I'm not very good at teaching this sort of thing. That's just that's just how it works in my head. It's how it's worked in my head ever since I had uh, you know college chemistry so if that helps you at all great if it doesn't ignore everything you just saw but you can do this with pretty much anything and like I said you don't really need the numbers you just need to know the basic number <clears throat> the basic number conversions like liter, how many milliliters are in a liter but really all you need to focus on is the physical aspect of the equation which is how many milliliters how many milliliters over liters, how many liters over milliliters, how many milliliters per hour, how many hours per day. You could solve the equation that way because the answer is not just this number, but it's this aspect right here, milliliters per day. So it's just another way to look at the equation. If you're having trouble with the math, maybe you could look at it that way and get a little help because I'll be the first to tell you I'm not so good with numbers. Anyway, guys, this has been Mr. Wolfie. Love you guys. Hope this helps.